the information you need relating to the sport you love, all within five minutes. NASCAR 5 starts right now. Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR 5. I'm your host Bryce Turner. This weekend, NASCAR races at Kansas. A look at the schedule coming up, but first a look back to the races at Talladega. Brad Keselowski won the Geico 500 Sprint Cup race at Talladega. Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, Jamie McMurray, and Chase Elliott rounded out the top five. Meanwhile, Kevin Harvick has taken the lead in the standings over Kyle Busch, Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, and Joey Logano. For more post-race coverage, visit carnuts.ca and click on Closed Wheel Racing. Also, be sure to visit my website, bryceturner.wix.com slash home. Follow me on Twitter, at BryceT24, and at NASCAR5. You can also use hashtag CanRace, and be sure to check back here with my YouTube channel. In the Xfinity series, Elliot Sadler won the Sparks Energy 300. Justin Allgaier and Brennan Poole finished second and third. Sadler has now tied Daniel Suarez for the points lead over Ty Dillon. It's time now for a news update. In the news, NASCAR released the 2017 schedules for its top three series, and there are a few changes for Sprint Cup. Talladega and Kansas will swap weekends in the fall. That means Talladega will become the second race in the round of 12, while Kansas will become the cutoff race. Also, the spring race at Texas will move from a Saturday night to a Sunday. Andover will move to after Charlotte and Michigan to before Bristol. For the full schedules, visit NASCAR.com. In other news, drivers and crews will have more space on pit road next weekend at Dover. The maximum car count for Sprint Cup races is now 40 instead of 43. With that, Dover removed three of its pit stalls, increasing the length of its stalls from 32 to 34 feet. The track was known for having some of the tightest stalls on the circuit. And the start of the NASCAR Pinty Series season is only two weeks away. The Clarington 200 at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park will take place May 22nd and Can Race has you covered. Tune in to pre-race on May 20th for the latest news, schedule, and more, including special features. Featured are a sit-down interview with defending champion Scott Steckley, and an interview with and go-kart race between Jeff Caden and Trayton Lapsovich. Then check back after the event for post-race coverage, Can Race on my YouTube channel. The Camping World Truck Series is back in action this weekend with the Toyota Tundra 250 from Kansas Speedway. The race will begin tonight at around 8.45 p.m. Eastern with broadcast coverage on FS1, Fox Sports Racing, the Motor Racing Network, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place today at 4.30 and can be seen on FS1. Then, tomorrow night, it's the Go Bowling 400 Sprint Cup race from Kansas. The event will begin at about 7.45 p.m. Eastern, with broadcast coverage on FS1, TSN's 3N5, MRN, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place today at 6.45, with TV coverage on FS1. Thanks for watching this week's edition of NASCAR 5. I'm Bryce Turner. Enjoy the races.